Black cherry. The scientific name is pronounced Prunus serotina. It's a member of the Rosaceae family or the Rose family and is a very valuable commercial hardwood used for uh, furniture and veneer. It has a very wide distribution uh, but prefers moist and fertile sites in woodlands. The leaves for black cherry are simple and alternate and have a uh, very finely serrate uh, margin to it with a kind of a drop tip point. Um, the branches of smaller trees, especially here in North Carolina, are commonly attacked by a fungus called black knot, which uh, can expand and degrade the form of the trees. Uh, the barked black cherry is platy and has little lenticels or kind of stretched lip shaped holes or indentations on the individual plates. Um, you'll also see these lenticels on the buds as well. And if you take uh, the twig and leaves and kind of uh, strip off the bark or shear the bark a little bit, you will get a uh, distinct cherry smell to those young twigs. And uh, interesting point, um, the twigs and leaves have uh, a quantity of cyanide in them that's locked up in a chemical compound, but which does make uh, black cherry kind of poisonous to uh, livestock or horses that might be inclined to eat the foliage. Uh, the edible fruits are very popular among wildlife, especially birds and small mammals. Um, you can eat them yourself, but they uh, sometimes they do taste a little bitter. And uh, there's a map showing the native range of uh, black cherry, uh, which actually grows the most ideal commercial uh, trees for black cherry grow in the Allegheny Plateau of um, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York. But again, that's black cherry, Prunus serotina.